All right. Meow, meow, everyone. It's Shadowcat here. Yeah. I've tested the uh, the mic and everything, and it's working perfectly. The uh, the camera did flip. It was uh, flipped around before I even started this, which is very weird. But in the meantime, we got Potion here with me. <laughs> yeah. So first off, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe so we can reach... 40 subscribers. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is uh, my first uh, Halloween reaction video. And uh, I did charge these, by the way, which is good because I hate when they like go out on me or the lights just like turn off. So, yeah. So this is my first uh, reaction. I wanted to do uh, a different thing that uh, Curse Witch wanted me to do, but. This just dropped, so I felt like it's more important right now. So, welcome to the Amazing Digital Circus, Episode Three: the mis the mystery of Mildred Mild Mildred Hell Manor by Glitch. This is their third episode of. The Amazing Digital Circus. It's, it's become a franchise, a, a series now. So, this is episode three. <laughs> nice the glitch. <laughs> I can't hold it any longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. Sorry. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. That's you. All right. <laughs> Here I go. All right, we've entered the blue zone. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, orange. Orange, yeah. Green. Whoa, look, now she's turning blue. She was already blue. <laughs> huh, guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? <laughs> because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, <laughs> And Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, right. the viewers, think it is? <laughs> Will you stop doing that? Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Today's adventure is uh, the mystery of Mildenhall Manor! That's right, this big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity! Paranormal it's up to you activity. to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can! This is a fitting for episode ever, for October. You can. Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and um, mature, just for them! They left. <laughs> what? The NPCs aren't going to become self aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the boys. It's adventuring time. Right. Oh, this place oh. is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, that wasn't even scary. <laughs> what? Just go to the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? <laughs> Does anybody hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, I'm ghostly. Oh, and it's ghostly. Today. Okay. Why won't they go back in. <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting though. 
That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door oh, that's okay. is the normal door. Oh, Rated wow for all ages. The door oh, okay. on the right is the really scary door. Rated ah! for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to do <laughs> Wow, chance. okay. What? I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. <laughs> it's supposed to be Let's the guy. <laughs> Don't worry, Gangle, I'll get it for you. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Oh, that's the scary door. Zubo, come right. on out. I just want to talk to you. Hmm. Oh, I know. What the, could you have done uh, that the whole time? Zubal, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' right, feelings. Amazing. Bubbles' feelings? Enough about Bubbles', Bubbles feelings. feelings. How about your feelings? <laughs> I, so, what's on your mind, Zubal? Oh, okay. I <laughs> would rather not. <laughs> yeah, That's hilarious. No. Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Oh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do right. to make my adventures more appealing to you? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. Uh, wh where are we? Oh, she got her eyes back. Wow, okay. Oh, that's... No. Oh. Okay. I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature sure. you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy. Something, Something in between. I yeah. took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, uh, I would be afraid of the awful at feeling. It. <laughs> it's so weird. Inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think. Yeah. How about we try to find a way back up to the others? Okay. Oh, oh, this is, oh cool, okay, of course. Great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thingy up. It's locked. It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. <laughs> what are we looking for? Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals, and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. Oh the my creature God. was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone <laughs> Dinger. is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Well, this is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! Yeah, really. <laughs> and this is some rather inconvenient darkness. Right. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is you this your hand? Uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, oh, you, okay. <laughs> why did you scream then? 
Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I think we should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. Right. What was that? What's what? <laughs> it's probably just magnets. Or a boat. A boat? Whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Uh -oh. There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh god, there is a fly. And... gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you oh. look beautiful, honey. Got it. Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prepare for takeoff, because this boat is going up. Huh? That's not up. That's not up at all. Why are we going up? Oh, oh we're going down. <laughs> I do not use my adventures to torture my guests. Any torment I inflict is 100% accidental, like any good war criminal. We weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. It's me, right. remember? I don't like myself i hate this body i hate all these stupid removable pieces i just want to find something that feels good oh yeah now i remember why i couldn't remember it's because that problem is already solved simply swap out your undesirable zoobal parts for better ones i've been trying to find parts i like since the day i got here so back to the adventures forget it forget it just forget it forget what Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fuck with everybody. Gangle's yeah. too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, yeah. Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. <laughs> Making adventures is my art. It's She's all I exist that. to do, all I'm good at. And, uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> That'd oh, oh, be... oh, oh, that's not, that's uh, not good. Uh, uh whose no. session is this again? Oh, yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your oh. behavioral issues! I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. Oh god, where are we now? Oh god! I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Oh. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping theoretical? Every wow, shadow, okay. Every noise. I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking mm. her for the creature. It's... Ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If okay. nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. Right. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. He's 
don't come alive. Okay, I won't. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. <laughs> Looks like we've got two shots. Okay, I won't. Count. Uh, yeah. Stay behind me. Uh, Kinger. Oh. My God. Oh. It's the woman. <laughs> oh, there's the head. <laughs> Kinger? I, I think we may have a problem this way, too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Okay, that's one. And that's two. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was Come actually on. one of God's angels. What? And anyone what? who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned. And your bodies will be my only means of doing so. <laughs> now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready, because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! <laughs> I hate this stupid adventure! Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> right. Don't I know it. <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit any time. Definitely. Yeah. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones. You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are. Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave. I wonder how long that'll be. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. We yeah. are literally in hell right now. Hell! Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay <laughs> calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Probably. All of the damned. Hold on. Okay. Let me try something. Hey, there's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, God. Uh. <laughs> Pony! Hey! Oh, you okay. Get out of here, you damn evil souls! How's your wife, King? <laughs> hey! You all right there? No. I'm. Guessing the souls are attracted to living things, just want a vessel to be able to leave with. Man, yeah. seven years of computer science for this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He, he just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're mm. not in. Well, I. Guess well, we are technically. technically. Forget about that. 
How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? Okay. <laughs> It was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately? <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories. But being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Okay, flashback time. <laughs> right after my wife had abstracted. I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how I can feel in this circus sometimes it all just feels pointless he's yeah. not wrong but it's not not if you have people who care about you good memories can do a lot hold on to them and cherish the people around you you never know when they'll be gone right in this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? Uh, okay. If we leave and we go back to the circus, you're just going to go back to being crazy. You're not going to remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. Right. You're very strong, Pomni. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. You ready? I like this tender. <laughs> get a whole different side of Kinger. <laughs> He does glow. <laughs> oh, Pomni! Kinger! Are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni yeah, really. was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything, I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? 
And and now I'm I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was <laughs> wait, wait. even a real direction at all. Whoopsie Daisy! Looks what? like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Oh, we are having a therapy session. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Don't ever call us that again. Right. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> well, it was nice to get to dive into Kinger, so... <laughs> yeah, that was good. I actually did enjoy this episode, it was good. <laughs> Get to dive into Kinger's uh, subconscious and tell a story of his life for once. Show a different side of him, not crazy. All right, well, that's the uh, end of uh, episode three. I'm not sure when episode four will come out. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of fitting for this episode to come out in October. It was a, a little more darker than the last two episodes, but, you know, it, it is what it is. That's why I said it was more fitting. So, that's the uh, end of this one. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. And if you don't, we got Potion here. We'll not get, not send you any candy. Let's you want Potion to send you candy. Candy. All right. Anyways. Bye.